Hey guys, today we are making a creamy cauliflower Creole shepherd's pie. Welcome back. Today we are going to be making a cheesy, creamy cauliflower Creole shepherd's pie. And if spice is your middle name, I am bringing it to your table tonight. So first things first, let's preheat that oven to 400 degrees. So next up, what you're gonna do is you are gonna create that Creole spice blend. For this, you will need one tablespoon Creole seasoning, one tablespoon black pepper, a half a tablespoon garlic powder, a half a tablespoon onion powder, and a half a tablespoon paprika. Once that's all in a bowl, just go ahead and give that a nice quick stir. The cauliflower needs to steam and then set out, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that next. For this, you are gonna need your eight cups of cauliflower and one eighth cup of water. You're just gonna go ahead and put that in the microwave and steam that between eight and 10 minutes, depending on your microwave. And then once that's done, you're gonna pull that out, take the cellophane, plastic wrap, or whatever you have on top off, and let that sit out. So the base of your shepherd's pie is next, so let's go ahead and take care of that. For this, you're gonna need one pound of ground beef, turkey, or ground lamb, your choice, one bell pepper diced, one onion diced, one stalk of celery diced, three cloves of garlic minced, a quarter cup of beef bone broth, and one tablespoon of arrowroot, or xanthan gum. Guys, for this, for the xanthan gum or the arrowroot, you don't have to use it if you don't feel comfortable using it. As your thickening agent, just leave it out. In a pan over medium high heat, place one tablespoon of oil and let that come up to temperature. Once the oil has come up to temperature, you're going to add in the bell pepper, the onion, and the celery. Sprinkle it with one tablespoon of your seasoning blend. Give that a quick stir and let that saute for about five minutes. Once you let that saute for about five minutes, you're gonna add in the garlic and cook that down for another minute. Next up, add in your ground beef and sprinkle another two tablespoons of your seasoning blend. Give that another quick stir and brown your beef, which is gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. Once your beef is all brown, you're going to add in that beef bone broth and let that simmer for about five minutes. Now you have the ground beef and the bone broth all together. You're going to stir in your arrowroot or your xanthan gum with one tablespoon of water and that's going to thicken this mixture. Once your mixture is all thickened up, if you decided to use that xanthan gum or the arrowroot, you're just going to put a lid on top of that and put that over to the side because now it's time to start on your cauliflower mash. For the cauliflower mash to go on top of your juicy, beefy bottom of your casserole, you're going to need eight cups of cauliflower steamed, three tablespoons of butter melted, a half a cup of cream, three ounces of cream cheese brought to room temperature, one cup of pepper jack cheese grated, and one cup of sharp cheddar cheese grated. To put on the finishing touches, you're gonna need two green onions diced. Now that your cauliflower is all rested, go ahead and drain off any excess water. Place that in your food processor and pulse it until it's light and fluffy. Now that your cauliflower is all nice and light and fluffy, you are going to add in the remaining seasoning the melted butter, heavy whipping cream, and the cream cheese. You're gonna pulse that until it's nice and creamy. Then you're going to add in half of your cheese blend. Now it's time to assemble your casserole. Add the meat to a nine inch grease casserole dish. You're going to then top it with the cauliflower mash and add the remaining cheese. Bake that at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes until everything is nice and bubbly and the cheese is melted. Now we're all done, ready to plate this up. You're gonna take that out of the oven, let it sit for about two to five minutes, and then scoop it out on your plate. 
add a little bit of green onions to the top just to give it that little extra. So that's it for today's episode. If you like it, love it, you want some more of it and more of these recipes, guys, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe right here.